Hello, my loves, here with your 1111 angel message. This is a collective message for all those that come across this reading. This message is for you. It is also timeless. After the initial message, I will pull a tarot card, one card for every sign to connect the message of the angels. Okay, so here we go. Daily angel inspiration, angel guidance. For the collective angels, what is your message? 1111 angel message for today. Wow. The card of notice the signs. I definitely feel like if you have come across this reading, it is for a specific reason. I do feel like uh, whether you are ready to accept it, receive it, acknowledge it, spirit has been trying to connect with you, has been showing you the signs. Pay attention, be mindful, be present in the moment. Could be in the in the form of feathers, coins, uh, could be where, I, I, I just heard some of you may actually even think you heard someone call your name okay so maybe you're like at the supermarket at the gas station in a crowd somewhere and it's like you could have sworn you heard somebody call your name and for some of you you do hear your name called because there's someone else with that name in the crowd this is the way that spirit tries to connect with you tries to get your attention you can also see things like butterflies dragonflies hummingbirds um for some of you, it is different kinds of birds, not just, you know, those particular birds. But I do feel like whatever it is that is of significant meaning to you, I heard for some of you that it is the color purple. So this may be of significant meaning. When you see the color purple, purple you think of someone in particular, perhaps someone who has passed on. I do feel like you have spirit guides, guardian angels trying to connect with you. They, they do go out of their way and you know they they wouldn't force themselves on you but they will make it known you may also be seeing repeated numbers right angel numbers uh, on sides of the bus addresses license plates um some you know you notice the time you see on the microwave things of that nature this is the sync the, the communication of synchronicity with spirit guides guardian angels you know those that are trying to reach you on the other side and so the card says, yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We're dropping feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. Okay, so some of you may be feeling a little bit lonely. Maybe some of you have are, are missing people that have passed on, friends, family members. Maybe some of you feel lonely because you've had a change in your relationships or in your environment. Maybe you move out of your hometown and relocate. Locate. Maybe you separate from your partner or you move out of your family home. Um, some of you may be uh, changing jobs and it's kind of a little bit difficult as we become adults to make new friends in not quite sure whether or not people can be trusted if they are trustworthy friendships that we can, uh, you know, embark upon. And really the reason why it's so hard as adults to make friends with new people is that sometimes we carry those wounds of our experiences of our past that can hinder us from really opening ourselves up to new connections, new relationships, new friendships, new opportunities. So don't be afraid to embark on those journeys. It is okay to be guarded, but not so guarded that you block the world out, that you block your own blessings. And so I'm going to pull a tarot card, one for each sign. I will go in, in order and, you know, I'm going to pull a card to see how this resonates with you. Make sure you listen to your moon rising and Venus signs as well. And so Aries, how does this message correspond? How does this resonate with Aries? Oh, wow. Beautiful six of swords so some of you have been thinking or contemplating about making changes if you've been going through the rough patch going through a stressful time i'm feeling like there is this energy of family turmoil or turmoil within the home not getting along with everyone i do feel the need for separation withdrawing right so whether that is withdrawing from uh you know a specific group of people or an environment that can be unhealthy or toxic or perhaps this is a specific person you live with like a sibling a family a relative a partner a roommate i do feel like some of you are in need of a much needed vacation or a break some r and r some time to get away 
away and just try to find yourself, recover and regroup. I do feel that as you pour into yourself and you stay grounded mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I do feel that you'll be able to see the signs from spirit a lot stronger. So if you have been contemplating or thinking of making these types of changes, know that this card is here for you as a confirmation. Spirit is listening. Spirit knows what you've been thinking of, wanting to do, dreaming of, um, manifesting. And this is kind of like that confirmation that if you weren't sure about whether or not you should do something i definitely feel like spirit guides guardian angels are saying it is safe for you to do so okay taurus how does this resonate with Taurus? And we have Queen of Pentacles. This could be a uh, mother energy, nurturing energy. This could be a Virgo you're dealing with. You could have Virgo in your chart. I know generally, you know, the signs are the same element with, you know, the earth signs. I tend to get all three of you or some of you in each other's readings. So uh, Taurus, notice the signs when it comes to uh, people that you see as a mother, a mother figure, people that are nurturing, people that are friendly, people that are more stable and grounded if you have noticed that uh perhaps you've have felt like maybe some anxiety coming up maybe you have felt nervous maybe some of you feel stuck in your head about certain things people places situations decisions in your mind i feel like some of you may be missing a mother or mother figure or you really are thinking about how to be more grounded in that energy how to be in a place of clarity and growth and i do feel like you are being guided at this time so whatever ideas that have been brewing in your mind that you are contemplating of expanding or embarking on i do feel like you know spirit guides guardian angels are most definitely uh you know highlighting your path for you in terms of where to go next what to do next and how to be successful i do feel like if this is about money career finance investments um you know growing in terms of luxuries within the home and creating a beautiful home environment i do feel like you are being guided towards your next step in terms of how to make that happen for you, okay? How does this resonate with Gemini? Ace of Swords, beautiful. You are definitely getting communication from spirit guides, guardian angels, from the angels. I mean, they're not just saying, listen, we're dropping leaves, feathers, you know, coins, synchronistic numbers, but we are also communicating with you like loud and clear in, in ways of overhearing people's conversations that suddenly resonate with you even though you've got nothing to do with their conversation you you know again you hear your name in the crowd but there's nobody around um you know that you turn the tv on or you put the radio on and it just happens to be something that you were thinking about or contemplating and you're wondering if you're you know if it's the right thing for you to do and it's almost as though the the signs from spirit from higher source are happening more and more often like Honestly, Gemini, I feel like you can't escape it at this point. They are literally in your face with communication. I do feel like they are guiding you towards success and victory in whatever endeavor you're embarking on. I do feel very strongly that I have spirit guides, guardian angels, and Archangel Michael here saying you are very, very strongly guide, being guided and protected at this time. Okay, so if you were afraid of embarking on a new journey, Oh my God, I suddenly yawned. So I never yawn in my readings. That was a huge yawn. That was definitely Archangel Michael saying, listen, I got them. I got their back. They are blessed. They are protected. And I'm going to make sure that they go down the path towards success. Okay. Cancer. How does this resonate with cancer? page of pentacles this is a new opportunity i feel like you are being a new uh, being guided towards a new opportunity in money business career stability right so some of you have been thinking maybe I, I just heard some of you may not be happy in your current living situation maybe who you live with or the area of where you live and you really want something more stable that maybe you can bring your children around that you can raise a family that you can build and grow with someone i do feel like you are being guided like suddenly you see a listing suddenly you see a, an advertisement somebody suddenly you see like maybe something on social media about a house a home a rental whatever it may be i do feel like you are being guided in terms of you know all all the little luxuries and stabilities 
that life can bring you that perhaps there have been times you have felt a little bit unstable but i do feel that spirit guides guardian angels are letting you know you have money coming your way you have stability coming your way uh, i'm also hearing you know the money that can the extra money that comes your way can be in the form of a savings right so you're used to spending a particular amount of some sort of service or product every month and then suddenly you get like a two for one deal suddenly you get like a buy you know like a, a 75 percent off deal and so like that is more money in your pocket okay so remember that even if you're not actually fully receiving money from someone the way the universe blesses you with additional money additional income additional resources they can and will be creative in helping you out what you do with those additional resources is really up to you you've got new money new opportunities new stability new job if this is in relationship or love it is definitely someone who is coming in with an offer of love and stability they are in a really good place they are about to embark on a new career journey that is going to bring in tons of money for them and i feel like they feel very safe and secure in offering you your next step offering you something more long term okay so if you were worried about something like that was never going to happen for you i'm seeing it clearly i know it's just a page of pentacles but i feel like this is spirit showing you that this is just the first step baby steps okay you will get to that point it, it's it's important to not be you know rushing into something and allow the universe to surprise you okay leo how does this resonate for leo wheel of fortune my goodness i freaking love that for you okay listen if you've been going through some uncomfortable times wondering if this was you know bad luck wondering if this was karma playing out wondering if you know the tower moments one after another things falling apart things not working out whether it was bad luck what i'm seeing here is that listen the universe the angels spirit guides guardian angels are saying you gotta let us clear the way we've got nothing but good luck positivity beautiful acknowledgement of the universal energies assisting you towards everything and anything that is meant for your highest good this is your destiny and your spirit guides guardian angels are saying listen don't fear what your next chapter is we are guiding you pay attention to the signs notice the signs know that every time you feel afraid nervous fearful worrisome know that this is us letting you know that things are moving forward towards the better leo that is an amazing amazing message if you feel like you have been confused about whether or not you are on the right path with your career with your soul path uh even in the right relationship i do feel that you're about to embark on your destined path okay whether in love or career or i'm also hearing some of you will be relocating so i'm hearing that where whatever town you're going to relocate i know this is a completely off the wall message for some of you but this is going to resonate with at least one of you if you are relocating to another town maybe you feel like you don't have a lot of history or a lot of knowledge of this town or maybe you have visited one time or another but but there is something about this town or the city that calls you it's because you experienced a past life there you do have history on the grounds on the earth of this city of this town of this community it is calling you back home is what i'm hearing okay let me know down below how that resonates leo that sounds freaking amazing honestly like i feel like you are literally being called back home so if you are single and you're relocating i do feel like your whole life is about to change in a matter of moments this sounds amazing for you leo don't be afraid is what i keep hearing it really is working out for the better okay for your highest good and virgo how does this resonate with virgo i mean too many cards but this is eight of cups and knight of cups so some of you may be walking away from a romantic partnership you turn your back on them or someone turned their back on you as i was saying listen i don't want more than one card <laughs> I, that happened in a couple other readings and here we go one card for virgo with notice the sign see virgo stop trying to give me all the cards 
one card for Virgo. This one, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> now I'm curious what the other card was, the Tower card. I feel like it's the same message with Leo. Let's see what the other two cards were. The Queen of Cups and the Magician. Okay, so listen the tower card and notice the signs if things are falling apart around you if people are walking away uh, if they can't keep up with you if you are feeling like certain people places situations i also feel like uh romantic partnerships people that are interested in you uh maybe they are jealous of where you are on your path and the fact that you are maybe light years ahead of them and they're not at a place where they can grow at your level where they can meet you at your level I do feel like there is this energy of the, you know, the spirit guides, guardian angels removing, removing people, places, things, situations. So if people pop in into your life and it's like, you know, uh, I wonder if I should let this person back in. And it feels almost instantly, immediately, angel says, what are you doing? No, no, no. We're going to send you a very clear sign that this person should not be on your path, should not be in your life, that this job is not for you, that this partner is not for you, that this friendship is not for you, that this opportunity is not for you because we're making way for bigger and better. And we want you to trust and believe that. Notice the signs when they are guiding you away from things that are not for your highest good because you have overcome these hardships. You're on, the, you're already rebuilding yourself you're coming back from this tower moment you're coming back from what feels like the death card right the phoenix rising from the ashes so when someone comes back in that old energy that you no longer resonate with believe it when i tell you spirit guides guardian angels they're going to remove them because we're not taking any any steps backwards only moving forward okay libra how does this resonate with libra too many cards. Again, what is it with the too many cards? Hi, wow, three majors. And I just said the death card too. So the high priestess and the sun card. Um, you know, what are the signs? For some of you, you are receiving downloads. For some of you, you are getting intuitive hits, nudges that are, you know... It, really encouraging you to follow your path towards happiness and bliss okay but anyway let me pull one card here for libra yes happiness and bliss absolutely notice the signs i'm hearing there is a lot for you to be grateful for and i'm not saying you're not being grateful but i what i'm saying is notice the signs all these wonderful things experiences people things that have been lining up for you you are in alignment with manifesting what exactly it is that you have been wanting for a really long time trust the uh, the guidance the divine guidance that you are receiving from spirit guides guardian angels at this time there is so much to rejoice there are many many signs here that are being thrown your way that are a cause for celebration i also feel like some of you have perhaps three people that have passed on that are trying to connect with you i feel like they are celebrating you on the other side um i do i do have this sudden urge to uh pull a <laughs> Don't be mad, other signs. Don't be mad. I do have this sudden urge to pull angel whisper cards. I feel like you may have three guides, three deceased loved ones on the other side that are celebrating your successes, that are celebrating your decision, that are celebrating uh, where you are in your life, your growth, your happiness, all of the above. And what they say is... The beauty in nature can be the answer to, to what you seek. Reconnect today. So some of you definitely need to go out and explore, you know, the grounds, the, the you know, out in nature, go hiking, go to a lake, a park, the beach. Some of you may go camping. I do feel like uh, some of you will get messages from the angels in the form of nature right nature spirits animal spirits um i'm even hearing some of you may hear the the like like i know where i'm at definitely there isn't any wind right now it's hot as fuck okay <laughs> but some of you may be experiencing a little uptick in the winds i i i'm i'm hearing and i don't know what kind of tree it is i really wish i knew but they've got these little they've got these long dangling leaves and they have almost like oval shape uh leaves like 
they're all connected by a, like a long streaming branch looks like hair is all I can you know each strand can look like hair but I'm hearing the the rustling of the branches and the leaves in the wind and I feel that that is very important for some of you I don't I feel like that took someone back to a childhood memory or the last time you were out in perhaps in um, in that type of weather in that type of environment and there was a significant download or message that came through to you at that time okay so that is important to reconnect with nature I'm, I'm definitely hearing nature spirits and being closer to the divine in that sense. So Scorpio, how does this resonate with Scorpio? Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that is your reading. I do, I mean, that is your energy. I do feel as though Scorpio, notice the signs and the way your emotions are coming up. I feel like some of you are purging emotions. Some of you are... Um, I feel like you've been fearful of opening up to certain people. You're very used to keeping your, your heart on your sleeve, your emotions trapped within you. Uh, I, I feel like some of you don't really open up to people until you're ready to open up to them. So that may, those people that you do trust them with your heart, mind, body, soul, spirit, they are few and far between. I do feel like you are coming across someone or you have recently met someone that um spirit is saying you can trust them you can trust them with your heart you can trust them with your love you can trust them with your life uh, I definitely feel like this is Spirit Guide's way of saying there is someone on your path that you've recently just met that you've been interacting with or this is someone that from your past that that person keeps popping into your mind that you keep thinking about that is definitely a sign from source letting you know yes that wasn't that was you know, an example of what you're thinking, what you're experiencing. If you're wondering, have I ever felt love? And then somebody comes into your mind. I feel like Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels is saying, yeah, you experienced love with this person. And I just heard um, child childhood. Um, for you to think back of your childhood moments where you felt the most loved. And now some of you may be saying something like, I never felt like that <laughs> growing up. Yes, you did. However... There may have been, well, of course, I can't speak with certainty, but what I'm saying is there may have been other situations that have just taken over your mind, your memory. It, it's like it, it, it shied you away from experiencing further love ahead, okay? And as I said that, I looked at the timer on uh, the recording and it was 22-22. So definitely feel like this is some sort of partnership, emotional partnership with someone. Some of you have just recently gotten the clarity that you need. If you weren't sure about someone, if you've been confused about whether or not you should start a relationship with this person, whether or not you should work things out with this person, whether or not you should reach out to this person, I do feel like spirit guides or guardian angels are sending you signs to give you a yes or a no so some of you may even ask your guides hey you know show me show me a butterfly if i should reach out to them and then you see a butterfly so that, there's your answer so that's how you know the universe is listening that's how you know spirit guides guardian angels are listening sagittarius how does this resonate with sagittarius my goodness sagittarius you have the devil card um and notice the signs yeah and let me let me explain something to you no it doesn't mean demonic signs or you know signs of evil or death or anything of that nature but definitely you know i always tell people that um we're very sensitive energetic beings and sometimes we protect ourselves for our highest good uh because we've experienced a lot of trauma and we don't want to continue or further experience uh, further our experience in that energy right and so our bodies our bodies are just miraculous flesh, nerves, bones, organs, whatever you want to call it. They communicate to you. That emptiness, that pit of your stomach and your gut, that anxiety, that restlessness, the chills, the heebie-jeebies. Some of you can't help but make a funky face at someone when somebody does not feel like they are in good energy. I feel like a lot of you can read someone's energy and 
it's very, very important that you listen to the signs of who you can or cannot trust, who's unhealthy, who's toxic, who is not for your highest good. Stop giving them the benefit of the doubt when you know your mind, body, soul, spirit, guides, guardian angels are telling you, get the fuck away from these people. Get out of this situation. This is going to go bad in so many ways. You ever walk into a place and like the energy just feels off and you say, I'm out of here because something just felt shady. Trust that. Trust that. That is your higher self, your inner guide, your spirit guides, guardian angels saying, I am protecting you. Get out of this situation now. For some of you, it's getting out of a bad situation, out of a bad relationship, leaving an unhealthy or toxic home environment. Notice the signs you are getting. You are being guided out of a bad situation. You are being guided, or I should say, these tough situations are being highlighted for you to acknowledge that they are not for your highest good. Acknowledge that. Trust the signs that you are getting. Capricorn, how does this resonate with Capricorn? Let's see, that flipped out. The moon card. The moon card. I do feel like some of you, late at night, you may be... Some of you may work nights and there's a lot of quiet, quiet solitude, but really I'm hearing the word stillness. Even if you've got a group of people that you work with and you work at night, I feel that there are quiet moments. Maybe you take your lunch break by yourself. Maybe you go sit in your car by yourself. You look up at the dark sky, at the moon, at the stars. I feel like there's a lot of contemplation here. I feel like you do a lot of contemplation while looking up at the moon, while looking up at the sky. I'm also hearing that there is someone that you are thinking about and you're wondering whether or not you should make a move, okay? I feel like you are getting the signs of what to do or what not to do. So if you need a clearer sign, should I reach out to this person? Are they the one for me? Would this be the right step for me? New job, new relationship, new person, reach out to them. If they're interested in me back, show me a feather. Like, <laughs> you know, I know it sounds playful and childlike, but believe me, they're listening. The universe is listening. They always listen. So be mindful of your thoughts. Don't allow them to go don't allow them to fade to black. In other words, don't allow them to go into the darkness. Don't allow negative self-talk. Don't allow, you know, things that don't build you up. It starts with your own internal dialogue, your own internal conversation. It starts with, you know, being open to receiving love and friendship and opportunities and abundance in all forms, all areas of your life. And if you don't feel grounded and worthy of it, if you feel like someone's always got some sort of plan up their sleeve, if somebody feels like, oh, they're probably shady or they can't be trusted or they have trust issues just like I do is what I'm hearing. Give yourself a little bit more credit, Capricorn. There's a lot that you aren't seeing, but I do feel that the universe, spirit guides, guardian angels want you to really pay attention to the emotions, to the messages, to the inner knowing that comes through when you're in that contemplation mode, especially when it is at night. I do feel like some of you can definitely do some moon manifestation work, clearing work um, with the new moon and the um, the full moon, okay? Look into new moon and full moon rituals. And I do feel like they will help you elevate wherever you are on your path. Aquarius, how does this resonate with Aquarius? I love it. Notice the signs as you continue to connect with spirit guides, guardian angels, as you acknowledge the, the, you know, the messages, the, the signs that you're receiving, the synchronicities, the feathers, the coins, the hearing a specific song. I feel like if there is someone that you can't get out of your mind, if there is an opportunity that you have just been like, you know, I've really been thinking about this particular job, career, uh, place of employment 
it for a really long time and I just, I don't know, I can't seem to pull the trigger yet. I don't know if I should apply. I don't know if I should reach out. I don't know if I should ask them out. Are they interested in me? It's been so long, you know? Um, and, and, and that just doesn't apply to love because I feel like some of you may have applied or, or sent a resume to a place of employment many years ago. It's been a long time. You haven't heard back and you're thinking, has it been too long to follow up? You know, I do feel like, like you are being guided. If you have those thoughts that don't escape you, it is for a good reason. It's because the universe is saying you have an opportunity here. Don't be afraid to take it. We are guiding you on that path to elevate and upgrade your life. This is a new chapter for you. Trust and believe it and move forward with it. Pisces, how does this resonate for Pisces? Four of Pentacles. Some of you have been a bit guarded, I'm, I'm hearing. Some of you may have been experiencing um, anxiety, uh, sleepless nights. I know this is Four of Pentacles and not Nine of Swords, but I feel like some of you have been really thinking and overthinking and keeping yourself guarded not sure if you are ready to open up to people. I do feel like you are receiving signs, but yet you don't trust them because you don't fully trust yourself yet to embark on a new journey, to open up a door to someone in particular that maybe hasn't been around for some time and all of a sudden they pop back up. You're just a little bit guarded and I feel like you're also guarding your crown chakra. So be very weary of the negative self-talk, okay? Just definitely get rid of that. And notice the the way your, your mindset and your energy and your thought processes start shifting into something more positive, start shifting into the energy of growth, of independence, of fill in the blank, whatever it is that you feel like you can't attain, you absolutely can. I feel as though spirit guides, guardian angels are guiding you every step of the way. It's time to stop you know, feeling like you've got to hoard and guard your energy, money, finances. I even feel like like you're keeping your energy um, on a limited basis with who can interact with you, right? Uh, that comes from fear, that comes from pain, that comes from disappointment and sadness. But it does not mean everyone is going to disappoint you and let you down. But definitely trust the signs that you're receiving in terms of being more discerning with who you allow around you, not everyone. You don't need to shield yourself from everyone. You don't need to hoard every single last piece of food, money, um, resources in any way, okay? That is your angel reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. Remember to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below if you claim any of these messages, if they resonate with you, if you like this format. If you want to continue seeing these 1111 angel messages, because I do, I do feel like I can put these out on a daily basis instead of putting out the weekly uh, the weekly readings. So let me know. I, I feel like I have, I'm, I'm more capable of putting these out on a daily instead of, you know, 12 weeklies. <laughs> and, you know, obviously I will still keep the monthlies and um, probably bring back the mid month. So let me know down below. I love and appreciate you guys so much. I will probably put up a poll to really poll you guys and see what you guys think after a couple weeks of these angel messages. Take care. I love you guys. Bye.